taking a look at who's handling who. It is up. Hang on. Illidan going for a DD. We'll snag it. He's going to turn on Zai after eating a fire blast in the face. And they're going to stick with this. He's got IO right in his pocket. Universe took his first point into, uh, oh, he, they're going to get him because he, he didn't have the, he didn't save his point, understandably so, just wanting to do damage. But uh, anyway, down at bottom, it's going to be Universe, who's here out in the off lane. He could be in some trouble. He's taking some damage. Yep, there's going to be the stifling dagger, and this is probably going to be EG second death, and it will. So, EG and coming. One less than a DP. I yeah. know it's neutral creeps, but still, just to put in perspective of how uh, much pressure. Oh my god, PPD's taking a lot of damage. He doesn't have a point in Grave. One more auto attack from this, and he's dead. I'm not sure what was happening there. I mean, that, that, that the puck could just lit him up. I mean, there's really no other way to put it. Fear trying to jump onto him. This is probably going to be a, a worthwhile trade for them, actually. As if the puck had got... See if they're going to really go pure active over him. There's going to be a two-man coil up at top. And here come the TPs in. They're going to jump on top of Zai. And with Illidan landing in, along with the relocate from the IO, that's going to be a nice kill. They would have loved to have gotten uh, Fear instead, but we can see EG just waiting on the return. Well-timed, and he is going to be able to tether to some creeps. Don't know that it's going to matter. As, yeah, that's going to be a return kill. So they end up trading. don't, so if they want to fight this, they need to fight now. And nope, it's too late. Nope, they're going to let it go. And they're going to oh, hang on. Fear's going to come in and try to get at least something for it, and they will. is going to end up dropping, and there's going to be the, the coil that spit he was just with and just sacrificed himself. Mm -hmm. So a, a nice last second decision, but... Uh, well, a little bit hasty. They're just going to catch the Witch Doctor for free behind the tower. Zion, in the meantime, taking some damage. Got off a multicast, though. Fear trying to track down the IO. Illidan, in the meantime, managed to get a kill of his own on Universe. Fear still cleaning house, though. Now going toe to toe. There's going to be LPPD. Didn't have enough mana for Grave. If he had enough mana for Grave, Slark would have won that engagement. Instead, Illidan's going to try to make it another kill. Now he has enough mana for Grave and uses it on himself. Zai. Yeah, just dead. No way to say it. I was curious if he was going to try to do something cute. And that, though, I mean, yes, you can hit an ice path, and that'll be handy-dandy. But you don't just have a way to jump on a target like you do. There's going to be a two-man coil. Zai's gone from the fight immediately. No way to save him. Arteezy BKBs tries to turn around. Doesn't matter. Io's already down, and Illidan is just chopping wood at this point. There's the ultimate from the Witch Doctor. Arteezy will not die to it. Very well-timed. Shadow away from PPD. Kept him alive a little bit longer. Doesn't matter as Puck is there to clean things up with the orb. Both and Universe going toe for toe now. Behind that, we can see Illidan still going to work. However, Fear right on him. They will be able to get the Aegis. There's Phobos caught in the Macro Pyre. After all, Universe going to be Yules out of his own TP. Phobos ate a bit of damage. They should be able to finish him off here shortly, though. And, yep, one more auto attack. Enough to bring him down. Maybe fight it out toe to toe with Illidan. But so much of that's going to just rely on good team coordination. Mag spotted by Zai. There's a nice path to follow up the Fire Blast. Let's see if they've got help on the way. Dual breath is there. We got both teams converging on this point now. We're going to see the Ogre cleaned up for free. Fears right on top of them. There's going to be the Yules onto the IO. Ice Path got two of them actually on the tip of it as well. They got Illidan and Mag. Mag has to run. Illidan wants to go toe to toe with PPD. Gets off the grave. So now he's down. Yes, cleaned up. Really greedy play there from Illidan. Yules now on the Death Prophet. Mag comes back down, has the exorcism popped. That is as, as unfortunate a sequence of events as could have been expected for Polar. And speaking of Yules, there's another catching the Witch Doctor. Ice Path, fear on top of him. Right now, at the peak of its time, you cannot go on him whatsoever. Yep. Which is actually, no, I'm, I'm incorrect. Surely. You're right. That, that's, a, that's plenty of duration here. Mm -hmm. And it's on such a low cooldown that they can cast again. There's going to be the Yules that got Mag, and Fierce on top of him. Macro Pyre down. Mag is down just like that. And they look like they are having a hard time figuring out how to even come into this. Lil's going to end up dropping. Now Illidan going to work on Arteezy. Arteezy is going to be critted down hard. Fear, though, manages to get himself a bash. Going to work. Illidan trying to stay alive. Can't do it. Ice Path on the mark and the grave. Had enough mana that time, and Fear is going to be pleased with it. Triple kill for Fear, his second of the game. He's still being chased by Phobos, but should be able to make it away. There's going to be a nice path to try and buy a little bit more time. Jaunt might end up be enough, uh, might be enough to secure the kill on Zai. And Illidan back up off the buyback. Will get a big crit, but he's going to end up bringing down another one now. One on one again, but Phobos is right there with him. Universe there with the dual breath. That's going to be a grave, not even needed. Call it fireworks. As they end up losing, yep, I was going to say losing the fight, losing the racks, and eventually losing the game. GG called, and EG, who really did feel like they were on the back foot for the longest time in the early stages of that game, manages to battle back and off of one very solidly one fight at top, just take all that momentum away and secure a win for themselves.
Yep. <laughs> you saw at the end there, too, just how much damage Arteezy was doing when he had his double ulti up. Just ran in there, run amok, and just was, didn't give two shits about what was coming his way. <laughs> um, yeah, he didn't have the Aegis at the time, and this...